And hello everybody, welcome to a little, um, just a fun video here, nothing too important or too stressful. Um, just something I'll upload after my um, Let's uh, Feed the Beast uh, ending videos, which are still on the hard drive. <laughs> we upload it pretty soon. Um, probably after, you'll probably see them before you see this video. <laughs> a little fun video here, kind of um, a little technique I learned when I was um, trying to um, <clears throat> learn how to harvest red rock. You can't. You'll find out about that again. Watch the end of my list play Feed the Beast. Um, yeah, survive a single single player map. So, see a little bit of fun here. All this fun here. Ooh, a lot of nu nukes, isn't it? Ooh, even more fun. Ooh, really fun here. Yeah, gotta go up, up, and up, and up here. Look at all this fun here. Wow, on and on and on, up and up and up. And using this down here. Um. A lot of things have changed. Um, I've done some more recordings, like two more recording sets. Got to be rendered out still and uh, sent up, loaded to you guys. Now we're at the top of the world here. Uh, timer here set for 60 seconds. We have time to get the hell out of Dodge before this thing sets off his nukes. So let's get the going here. Down and down and down. I'm actually aiming backwards too, but just not going very fast. I am in creative mode, so if I just hurt me, well, that's not going to be much problem. Okay. Now, I see my new computer can actually handle this, you know, we'll see. <laughs> now, pay attention here. It's also something I call the Hammer of God technique, because that's what it's like, the Hammer of God, coming down on someone. And I don't quite center like, like it. Oh well, that's life. Let's go back out of the way here. And wait a wait a few minutes in, minutes here. It shouldn't take too very long for this to go off. And it'd be night out. Ooh. So um let me turn this off here. The texture pack is called Sortex. Um the first recording set of my newest series. <laughs> I use Doku Light, but the new, or the second recording set I did of the new series um, uses the new Sortex. I actually prefer the Sortex over the Doku Craft, um, it's more cleaner. And the la frame per second just dropped to two, which means the thing is going off. I mean, my, uh, quad, my new hex core can't handle it too very well. Handling it better than my dual core did, obviously, but hmm. Way here, and may have to, have to pause the recording and let this settle out. You can see the results of this here. Let me slowly tilt this camera down a little bit here. <clears throat> so, if you really want to grieve someone, you know, this is one way to do it. It, it, they come home from their day of mining, find it's not it's no longer a home, or even uh, the surrounding land uh, landscape. It's gone. It takes about oh, two from bedrock up to about 200 some. So what, 164, 28, 250. Yeah, about four four stacks of nuclear bombs. It takes a bit, but it's kind of resource intensive, but it's worth it. <laughs> uh. Actually, handling got better than I thought it would. I think I actually frame per second. My dual cores would be at zero right now. Just totally froze. Ugh. Wait till the thing re-renders a little bit here. It's kind of removing a lot of things. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but yeah, when you put explosives like that one on top of another, it intensifies the explosion. Um, and intensifies and intensifies and makes one huge explosion. As you can see already from the world hole I got here, it's not actually a world hole, just uh, chunks disappearing from the explosion. <coughs> Yep. 
So I'm going to might to wait till thing re renders a little bit here and clears up. Or it might clear up a little quicker than that. Hmm. I do have a hex core on this thing now, so it makes it a lot easier on things. But you already see the size of the crater already. Um, without any kind of elaborate methods here. <laughs> it goes from that far wall over there. Way over there to the far wall. Way over there is the crater. Yeah. We're talking a crater all the way to bedrock. <laughs> Well, we're back up to 11 frames per second. 12. It was kind of lagging still. Whew. Yeah, I think I'll have having to wait here for a few minutes so it doesn't catch us up. Um, we'll be a bit of a jump cut here. Pardon me, folks. One minute, right back. All right, I'm back again. I got the thing to unlag finally. I uh, found a problem with the, why it was lagging, anyways. But, uh, yeah, here's the crater left over by the Fist of God um, maneuver, if you shall call it. Huge, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really big. Straight down to bedrock. Uh, there's some sand still down here. I think it's sand. Don't quote me, though, but let's get rid of that. Hmm. Be careful, I'm in creative mode, so... Yeah, I'm in creative mode. Got some stuff down here, got some gravel, some sand, uh, other things like that, some obsidian that didn't break. Hmm. Yeah, it's sand, okay. So, but yeah, this is everything, this is pretty much it here. So it'll be a real quick just ending here to the video to show you the extensiveness of the damage to this world. It's pretty damn big hole, isn't it? So yeah, if you want to remove a village or just, well, I wouldn't advocate gr griefing, because griefing is bad, really, really, really bad, so I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. But suppose if you wanted to, you could do that, but again, I wouldn't recommend it, though. I really say not the grief like this, but still, it's pretty damn impressive, isn't it? The size of this freaking hole here. Jeez. Yep, anyway, folks, I'll see you all again in the next videos. I'm drawing my new series pretty soon. And it's kind of an in-between video here, so talk to you later, folks. Have a great day, and goodbye.